Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatu's. In this video, I'll be showing you or discussing you how to use WooCommerce plugin from Wishlist. Before we start, hurry up and check out these other bridges under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, so what is Wishlist? Well, Wishlist is a plugin that is designed to make sharing and shopping easy, encouraging customers to invite friends and family to see their wishlist, which works like a gift registry. So this plugin also connects your store to wishlist.com's massive community, making your products more discoverable. It lets customers to create one universal wishlist for all their favorite stores, which brings them back to your store and even invites their friend and family to visit. Plus, you get advanced features like email marketing, data insights, and support for multiple wishlists, all for free. Now, how do we start using wishlist here? The first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you've already set up your store here and already installed and started using WooCommerce. Now, if you haven't installed WooCommerce, then wishlist might not work properly. So in this case, make sure to set up WooCommerce first. So in this case, I've already uh, set up my store here and I'm already in my dashboard. Now, just to give you an idea, this is what my store actually look like right now. So this is the basic one here. I have a bunch of products here and uh, some of the functionalities that a store usually has. But as you can see, I have I don't have the wish list option yet. So how do we add it? Well, the thing with this one is we need to install this into our plugins. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to basically download the file for wish list. So you want to go to Wishlist official website, which is going to be wishlist.com. Now from their website, you want to go to the very bottom here and you want to look for the option that says WooCommerce Wishlist. Let's go and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on the download button. Now it should start to download process. Now, by the way, if you want to see the full guide here on how to uh, install it, or if you want to refer to their official website, you could go ahead and just read the information that they have here. But I'll be showing you exactly how to do this. So in this case, once the file is downloaded, so you'll be getting the wishlist.com for WooCommerce. So we have the zip file. Now let's go to our dashboard here. Now in here, what we need to do is we need to go to the left panel here. You want to go to plugins and you want to go and click on add new plugin. Now in here, what we need to do next is we need to click on the upload plugin at the top left of your screen. Now from here, let's go and click on choose file. And in here, let's go and choose the wishlist.com for WooCommerce. Let's go and click on it and click on open. Now it should start the process here. Let's go and click on install now to confirm. And it should start the process of installing. So let's just wait for it to load up. Now, once you've installed it, it's going to actually ask you to activate the plugin. So let's go and click on activate plugin. It should redirect us into the plugin page here for our store in WooCommerce. So let's go and look for wishlist here. So wishlist by wishlist.com. So as you can see, it is now activated. So how do we start using it? So at the left panel of your screen or in your dashboard here, we have a bunch of tools. At the very bottom, you should be able to see the wishlist option. Let's go and click on it. Now, in this case, there are going to be a lot of tabs they could access here. So we have start, add to wishlist, wishlist homepage, wishlist display, store info, emails, dashboard, and advance. So obviously, there's going to be a lot of things that you can do here in wishlist. And I'm going to give you some idea on how to exactly use or uh, take advantage of the features that wish wishlist actually offers you. So first is we have the start tab. So in this case, you can start here to connect your store to wishlist.com through the plugins API. This actually lets your stores wishlist show up on wishlist.com search. So users across platform can find your products and you'll also find options to manage who can see the wishlist on your store and test feature that lets you configure everything without customers seeing it. So if you want to uh, basically start setting up your store here or your wish list account, this is where you do it. Now you could also set the visibility here like what we just said. So currently I've set this to live, but if you want to use this for testing purposes only, you can go and click on testing here and change your setting. Now, by the way, if you have any issues with your account, you can also get support by clicking on the get support button that you see here. Now, next is we have the add to wishlist tab. 
So this section is all about customizing the add to wishlist button. You can adjust the button's design, placement on product pages, category pages, and search results, and even the shopping cart for a personalized look. So you can add custom CSS as well, but there are going to be some limitations. So just to give you an idea here, we have the product page. Now you could change a few things here. So by default, the button or icon that you could get or use for your wishes is going to be a heart. But we can change this to a different one. Like for example, maybe we want to get a uh, star. Maybe you want to use the star or full star here. Now you can change the icon color here, the icon width. So depending on what you want. So maybe I want to use red here as a reference. So I'm going to choose red here and we're good. Now you can change the icon width here, icon left left right position by, by pixel here. And also like what I said before, you can use uh, some certain uh, amount of CSS, like for example, setting up the margin, like in the following options here. But this is just optional. You don't have to exactly uh, change the or add any CSS here. Now, you can also add tooltip here. So yeah, so basically this is for customizing the actual look of the add to wish list button. Let's go and click on save setting here just to make sure that we save our changes. As you can see, it's now saved successfully. Now, next is we have our wish list homepage. So adding a wish list homepage to your main menu makes it easy for customers to engage. This page features three main buttons. We have the create a wish list. We also have the find a wish list. And also we have the my wish list button. So customers can easily build, search, and manage their wish list. These buttons are customizable to fit your store styles. So when a customer is logged in, the my wish list button automatically directs them to their wish list, creating a seamless experience. So basically it actually makes it look like the, that your store is directly connected into wish list. So it's a very good thing here because again, wish list is a universal wish list that people can use across different stores. Now, next is we have the wish list display tab here. So the wish list display settings gives you control over how wish lists look and function. Here you can choose options like allowing multiple wish lists, adding profile images, and enabling comments. There's also a powerful feature here for custom messaging. So you can explain how your store's wish list works with wishlist.com's universal wish list feature. Plus, since the wish list pages are hosted on wish list servers, they won't slow down your store. So in this case, you can change a, a uh, different or specific settings here, like what we just dis uh, discussed. So we have the following, we have, we have the wish list features and layout, we have the description on how wishes can be used, and uh, yeah. So by the way, any changes that you make here, make sure to save them. So usually at the bottom right here, at the very bottom of this page, yeah, you should have the save setting option. Now you can change the header menu here. So by default, I have cart, check out my account and shop, but now I also have wish list here. So if you want to add or change a few things, you go ahead and do that. If you want to move this around, like for example, if you want to put this up. So yeah, I want to keep this at the very end here, just up to shop here, but we're good. Let's go ahead and click on save setting. Now you can change the uh, the uh, header store uh, name color, menu text color, menu over text color. So yeah, there's a few customizations that you can use here. Next is we have the store info tab. So. In this case, uh, this section is where you decide how your store appears on wishlist.com, including which products are featured and their search results, making it easier to stand out. Now, for example, you could go ahead and add an image here on your store's logo if you want to use a different one. You could also change the store name here, your store's icon if you want to add an image here, your store's description, categories, tags that describe your store, and features your store will within wishlist.com's shopping section. So basically, if you want to manage how your store would actually look like, this is how you do it on the wishlist uh, servers. Now, next is we have emails. So automatic emails are a big Bar here, so uh, of this plugin, so power. Now you can set up six types of emails, like welcome emails for new wishlist uh, users, reminders to save items to wishlist, and notifications when a wishlist item goes on sale or comes back in stock. The plugin lets you preview and customize each email to match your brand. So these emails run on wishlist.com's optimized servers, so they are actually quite reliable and have a strong reputation, helping ensure they reach your customers. 
Now, there are going to be a number of emails that you can change here, like uh, the email templates here for e uh, welcome emails, empty wishes reminder, reservation confirmation, wishes serve notice, wish on sale. So if you want to edit them, you can go ahead. Like for example, you can edit the email subject, email header text here, email content, and a lot more. Now, like what we did before, make sure to save your changes just to make sure that your changes will appear or in this case, uh, will reflect on your website. Now, next is we have our dashboard. So here you'll find eight different data reports. So let's go and click on open dashboard. So the data the reports here actually gives you insight or provides you insight into wishlist activity, customer preference, engagement, and you can download these reports to study and apply the data. There's also an opt-in option that encourages the customers to sign up for marketing emails right when they save items to a wishlist, boosting up in rate. Now, in this case, so we also have another section here that we could see, which is advanced. Now, in this case, in here, you can change a few other settings here. Like for example, we have the wishlist.com CSS, which in this case is actually controls the sign of your wishlist that in this case is placed on the wishlist.com uh, website. So if you wanna change a few things here, you could go ahead and do that. But the main tabs here is going to be from the start to the dashboard uh, tabs here. Now, since we've already set up our wishlist account, uh, or in this case, our wishlist plugin here, how do we start using it? Or how do our customers actually start using it? So first, let's go to our website here. So this is my website. Let's go ahead and reload this one. Just to give you an idea what it's going to look like. So let's go and reload this. And as you can see, we now have our wishlist. Now, in this case, since we change or actually do a few modifications on our plugin, as you can see, instead of a heart, we now have a red star here for adding a product to our wishlist. Now, let's go and open up one of the products here. So for example, I want to open this product up. Now, it should show us the details of this product and a few other more, but and the most important part here on our plugin is going to be the add to wishlist. So we didn't have this before. Now, how do we use it? Let's go ahead and click on the add to wishlist button or link here. That should redirect us into the uh, the store for our or adding a wishlist. So in this case, you need to sign in into your wishlist account. So because we are saving this online, we need to have an account. So if you don't have an account yet, you can go and scroll to the very bottom. You have the don't have an account here. You can go and join them. Now, there are going to be some details I need to uh, fill out here. Like for example, basic details about yourself. So just proceed with the sign up and you should be good. But I already have my account here. Let's go and go back here. And I wanna go ahead and log in into my account. Let's go ahead and choose our Google account since I actually use my Google account here to sign in. Let's go ahead and click on our uh, account here. And from here, we should be able to see in the review and save wish. Now in here, you could go ahead and select your wish list. Now, by the way, if you've just created your account, you need to name or add a name for your wish list. So you go ahead and do that. You can add the wish name here. So in this case, you can say, I want and whatever you want to say here. You could add the price here, but the price itself is going to be automatically pulled from the store. But if you want to change the price, you go ahead and do that. You can even change the currency if you need to. Also, if you want to receive marketing emails and special deals here from the following website, so you can go ahead and I want. So basically, they will be notifying if you go into uh, sales or any marketing emails that we just did or we just discussed before. Now, we have some uh, notes here. You could add your wish meter here. So for example, I really like this shirt here. Let's go ahead and maximize the hearts. And you can also add other uh, options here, like adding new tags, quantity requested, if you need five or 10, if you want to get all of them. You also have the about this wish, if you want to add descriptions in that, and the rank wish, uh, which in this case, uh, the top of your wish list. Let's go ahead and maybe, I want to say there's one. You could go ahead and add other details, but let's go ahead and hide this one, and we are good. So let's go ahead and click on save. Now, once we've done that, it should save us our, or in this case, save our wish list. Let's go and click on continue here to go back. And from here, we've just added this into our wish list. Now, as you can see at the very top, we have the following tabs here. So we, before we only have the home cart checkout in my account, but since we've just installed the plugin for wish list, the wish list tab here will be automatically added. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, once you click on it, it will redirect you to your wish list here on this specific store. As you can see, we have our product here, which in this case, we've just added. So 
So you can add this to your card. You can even view the product, you view the item itself. You could go and expand or drag the position if you want to move this around. If you have multiple wish lit, uh, wish products here, you could also delete this wish or edit the wish itself. Now you can also share your wish list here if you click on share wish list and you have the option to edit the link, share this via email or even uh, just copying the link here if you want to by clicking on it. But yeah, so this one is pretty awesome because it's using uh, the wishlist servers. And in this case, adding further functionality and improving the uh, uh, connection of uh, the store to different customers or potential customers out there. So yeah, so using the wishlist for cool commerce here, plug in connects your store to wishlist.com's traffic making it easy for new customers to find you and gives you customers one wish list that works across stores, increases repeat visits and bring their friends and family to your store with every feature included free of charge. It's a powerful tool for building customer relationships, gaining emails and enhancing your store's reach. And that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.